This is Graham Bell with MCAD Cafe. Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Tom McCullough, Vice President of Software Development at uh, Delcam. Hi, Tom. Graham, how are you doing today? Very good. I understand you have a new product announcement you want to share with our audience. Uh, FeatureCam 2011 is uh, coming out. Can you tell our audience uh, who uses FeatureCam and why? And before we drill into the features and benefits of the new release. Yeah, uh, FeatureCam is used by uh, a variety of customers all over the world. We've got customers in about 80 different countries uh, who, uh, who are served uh, well by FeatureCam. FeatureCam is a broad product. It serves all the needs of a small to medium-sized job shop, uh, anywhere from simple two-axis milling to more complicated five-axis milling, simple two-axis turning to more complicated B-axis uh, turn mill and multiple tur turning, uh, plus some wire EDM. So the kinds of shops who are programming a lot of parts are particularly well suited to feature cam because feature cam is geared towards minimizing the amount of time you spend programming the parts. So if you get a lot of parts into your shop, uh, a lot of CAD data, a lot of solid models, drawings, whatever that might be, into your shop every day or every week, and you need to turn those around quickly into uh, finished parts, uh, then that's a feature cam is a product that you should look at because it helps you program those parts quickly and get the parts out the door. So what, what are the first uh, new features and benefits of uh, feature cam 2011 that you'd like to mention to our audience? Uh, well, one of the big things that we've worked on here in the past year is 64-bit. Uh, so FeatureCamp 2011 uh, supports 64-bit computers natively. And these computers that uh, they've been available for a, a number of years, computers that our customers have been buying, whether or not they come with 64-bit windows, they're capable of 64-bit. And, uh, and so they probably have one on their desk right now. And that 64-bit computer, when it's running 64-bit windows and 64-bit feature cam, can handle much bigger parts than it could uh, with 32-bit. That's the main benefit of 64-bit, is the amount of memory that the computer can, can use. And so much bigger parts, plus that also means that on ordinary parts, feature cam can use a lot more memory, uh, which allows feature cam to generate better answers for the customer uh, faster. Does it take advantage of multiple cores or multi-threaded technology? Yes, FeatureCam has for a number of years taken advantage of the multiple core CPUs that are available to our customers. And it, it uses those multiple cores simultaneously uh, in its algorithms to come up with an answer faster. So the customer spends less time waiting for the computer to come back with the tool pass that he wants to compute. He can get more work done in a day, get more programming done in a day. Now, often designs are in CAD, um, some from some CAD program, and we want to get those fabricated quickly. Um, what kind of uh, developments have there been on the CAD interfaces? Uh, every, every year we need to make improvements on our CAD interfaces. Uh, our, uh, there's plenty of CAD capability within Dell Cam software and within Feature Cam, but uh, our uh, customers many times will use an independent CAD software and uh, we need to be able to import that seamlessly into Feature Cam. Uh, and so we, we uh, take steps every year to make sure that we're up to date with uh, CAD partners. We have partnerships with all the major CAD vendors and so they help us make sure that our software is compatible with their software and it makes our mutual customers uh, benefit. Anything else you'd like to point out in terms of the milling and other uh, important features of the program? Uh, one of the most exciting new features of FeatureCam 2011 is the automatic deburring. And that uh, arose from uh, conversations with customers. I'd have customers tell me, you know, Tom, the software is uh, so quick and easy to program that I can get my uh, parts programmed, my prismatic parts in particular, programmed uh, very, very quickly. Uh, but then I'm left with uh, all, all the deburring to program. And if I program it in feature cam, it, it takes a number of steps. If I do it by hand, then it takes a number of steps for every part that comes off the machine. And so um, 
we took a look at that problem and we figured out a way to uh, do automatic feature recognition on the sharp edges of the part and do automatic deburring automatically for our customers. And so they get a nice machine finished part, no hand deburring necessary. Uh, every part comes off the machine uh, ready, ready to hand to the customer. Anything else you'd like to point out in terms of modeling or turning or other features? Oh, we've got every version that we release, we make sure that we cover uh, a little bit of each of the modules. As I mentioned at the beginning, there's a lot of different modules. We've got stuff in turning. Uh, there's a, a whole user interface uh, update that we've done uh, that covers the whole product. We've uh, enhanced uh, the icons and the images, there's hundreds of them throughout the software to modernize those, make them easier to uh, understand, easier to see, and, uh, and it just give a better look to the program. Uh, for turning, we've done a no drag turning option, which um, it gives a better surface finish and a better tool life. Uh, it's a finish pass for turning, and what it does is it alternates the direction uh, that the tool takes on each section of your finished uh, curve that you need to finish, and uh, by alternating the direction, you can give a better finish and better tool life uh, than in previous versions of Feature Cam. Great. For the new user interface, is it so new that I, I need to uh, get, take a lot of time to retrain myself? No. Uh, great question. Uh, we, we do know that when you completely reorganize uh, a user interface that it throws users off. They don't, they don't like that very much, even if it's for the better, even if it's better organized. Uh, so what we did in this, in this instance was we just uh, freshened up the icons and the images, made it more modern, but we left everything w basically where it was, and so we've had customers thank us for that. Now, if I want to try out the uh, new Feature Cam 2011, is there a demo version? Absolutely, yes. If you go to www.featurecam.com, you can download a, what we call a try-before-you-buy version, and you'll be able to try out all these new features and uh, find out how quick and easy it is to program Feature Cam. Uh, won't be able to generate NC code, but uh, you can do everything else. Great. And uh, you have a strong distributor network? Absolutely. We've got uh, distributors in about 80 different countries, uh, in about 300 different offices speaking uh, native language wherever you might be, uh, and uh, they'd be happy to explain further how FeatureCam can help your business. Tom, can you give us a little background on DellCam, when it started, and how big the company is? Yes, uh, DellCam is the largest CAM-focused software provider on the planet. Uh, we've got about 40 years' experience uh, providing CAM software. Uh, about 35,000 customers. Uh, we've got about 200 developers positioned around the globe, and uh, those developers are positioned close to the markets they serve. So, for example, uh, in Asia, we've got developers working on CAD CAM software for, for footwear. Uh, in Europe, we've got developers working on CAD CAM software for five-axis milling, where uh, a, lot of, a lot of that's done in Europe. North America, a lot of turning, uh, turn mill and Swiss turn are done. We've got our de developers focused on that. Uh, and so our developers are near to where the markets they serve, which enables them to create bre better products and understand the problems better. Sounds like you're pretty, uh, pretty well connected to your worldwide uh, customer base. That's excellent. Absolutely. Tom, thanks for speaking with our MCAD Cafe audience. Thanks, Graham. The pleasure was mine.